Hey from Steve Kim here, so excited. Steve Kim Show episode number 236. The much anticipated April stats are in and as usual, I got your numbers and your stats. Let's get right into the numbers. So back in March in 2023 in Toronto, we had just over 2,500 sales against just over 4,200 active listings. Fast forward into April, we see the number of sales jump up to just over 2,700 and active listings to just over 4,400. In York region back in March 2023, we had just over 1,200 sales against just over 1,700 active listings. We see sales jump up to over 1,300 and active listings now just over 1,800. Now months of inventory, this is supply and demand across all housing types. In Toronto for an average property back in March 2023, we were hovering around 1.7 months of inventory, which is why you saw a prevalence of bidding wars back in March. And then into April, we see months of inventory drop to 1.6. So even less inventory and a sharper rise of multiple offer situations in Toronto. In York region, we saw a similar pattern back in March 2023 for an average property. We are hovering around 1.4 months of inventory. Fast forward into April, we're at 1.3 months of inventory. So almost everything in York region, if you've been shopping in the area, has been seen situated as a multiple offer situation. Now, sales price month over month, an average property, again, encompassing detached, semi-detached, townhomes, condo style apartments, and we're hovering around $1.054 million on average in Toronto back in March, 2023. We see that average sales price jump to now trading over $1.12 million month over month for an average property in Toronto. In New York region, we saw a similar pattern. Average property in New York region back in March was trading around $1.344 million, and now into April has jumped up to now $1.37 million dollars. Now sales price year over year, this is the price trend to pay attention to because don't forget in the early part of 2022, we were at the all time high. And back of April, 2022 in Toronto, an average property was trading $1.24 million. And like I shared with you now, is now trading about $1.12 million. That's about a 10.7% decrease year over year for an average property in Toronto. I'm gonna go on a limb here and make this prediction that I do see that by the end of this year, we might even be on par, if not a little bit ahead of where we were from last year. In New York region, we see that average sales price year over year gap shrink quick. An average property in New York region back of April 2022 was trading on $1.424 million. Like I shared with you now, is now trading $1.37 million, which equates to only about a 4% decrease year over year for an average property in New York region. Now, in line with Treb's outlook and recent consumer polling results, we are seeing a gradual improvement in sales and average selling price. Now, many buyers have come to terms with higher borrowing costs and are taking advantage of lower selling prices compared to the all time of last year. The issue moving forward will not be the demand for home ownership housing, but rather the ability to meet this demand with adequate supply. Now this is going to require efforts from all three levels of government. Now GTA Realtors reported just over 7,500 sales through Treb's MLS system in April 2023, which is down about 5.2% compared to April 2022. Now in comparison to March 2023, sales increased on an actual and seasonally adjusted basis. And on a year over year basis, new listings were down around 38.3% in April 2023, which is why we're not seeing a lot of supply in the market. Now the MLS home price index, HPI composite benchmark was down around 12.1% year over year in April, 2023. Now compared to March, the benchmark price was up on an actual and seasonally adjusted basis. The average selling price in the GTA was around $1.153 million in April 2023, which is down about 7.8% compared to 1.25 in April 2022. Again, this is across all of GTA. And the average selling price also increased compared to March, both on an actual and seasonally adjusted basis. Anyways, I hope you found this information and these stats useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, shoot me over a DM or an email. As always, great to have everyone. Take care.